some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves out in Concord, New Hampshire, where we find a frauditor who just hasn't learned his lesson about how courthouses work and, uh, well, gets arrested once again for, well, being a total dumbass in this case. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. So uh, I'm gonna let them know we're here. Huh? Who? Yes. Excuse me, one of you gentlemen. Morning, I have court today. I'm trying to figure out what uh, courtroom it is in and I'd like an escort from the clerk as well. I need to see, yeah, yep. Because I'm here, sui juris. I'm... Sure. Oh, you're sui juris, huh? Well, in the first definition right here, you would qualify for that because you're above 18 and not under, under the authority of your parents. Uh, but the second one is a bit more questionable, considering that in many states, uh, if you have a criminal record, you don't have the ability to vote or even in some cases hold office. So uh, as far as the first definition goes, here's my response to that. Oh my God, who the hell cares? I mean, yeah, who freaking cares? And by the way, this video uh, was over an hour long, so we're only going to watch maybe a few minutes of the uh, beginning, and then we're going to speed along to the end of the video. So let's carry on, shall we? You have to be screened to sit down. Yeah. And here we are. Their dedication, hard work, and vision have resulted in a dignified, functional, and pleasing public forum for the citizens of New Hampshire. This is the dedication of the building, this courthouse. It is a public forum, okay? And these are police officers, federal police. And we are allowed to film police in the course of their duties as well. Yeah, dude, the dedication plaque is meaningless when it comes to the uh, Supreme Court rulings on public forum doctrine, you dumbass. I mean, you frauditors like to uh, point out how signs are unlawful and everything like that, and yet when you point out a sign that says something that agrees with what you say, it's suddenly convenient. Isn't the hypocrisy interesting in this particular scenario? So... Let's get this, let's get this show on the road. Yeah, let's get this shit show on the road because, you know, these tyrants have got families to go to and everything like that. It's just too bad that they give you so many chances to screw up and you keep on doing it. I mean, yeah, if these guys were truly tyrants, they would have arrested you within the first few seconds. But they were very patient with you, and that's what a lot of cops do have is patience for total morons because they have to deal with your kind every freaking day. Is this one? Waiting for an answer? Is that what you're doing? Um, well, I don't know what you guys want to do here, but I'm here to present myself via special proceeding. I have all my notes and everything uh, that I need on my phone as well. We're gonna have to give you a phone here, okay? No, well, you're gonna have to tell the judge that you're not allowing me to uh, represent myself. Okay. I have to have my phone. All my stuff is on my phone. Do you have ID with you today? I do not. I lost my wallet the other day, honestly. So. Get the marshal down here. Get the marshal down here. I can stand. Yeah. Can you at least alert the judge that we're here, though? Yeah. Is possible, or I'm not calling the judge? You're not calling the judge? I'll call the clerk. So, uh, you decided that uh, it'd be uh, prudent for you to just uh, have all your material on your cell phone. Uh, yeah, what sense does that make? I mean, uh, especially since uh, New Hampshire's rules on uh, the cell phones within the courthouse are quite clear that uh, you are not allowed to have them, and only those uh, lawyers who are a uh, bar 
certified uh, are allowed to have them in the courtroom at all, at any given time. Uh, so uh, what is your damn excuse, dude? I mean, you could uh, always get hard copies of your uh, filings and everything like that. That way you won't have this problem, but I guess you j you're just there to start a problem be to begin with. Am I right? So yeah, you guys want to in inhibit my access to the court? It's going to be on you. You're going to be liable, putting you on notice right now. It's going to be a malice standard because you know I have the right to do it. There's also an exception to people who are representing themselves to have their electronics in the courtroom. Again, dude, uh, maybe you should actually read what it says on here. It doesn't give you that exception for representing yourself. Only somebody who has uh, been accepted by the Bar Association can do that, you moron. Are you a member of the Bar Association? No. Then, uh, well, you're not allowed to. Okay, so you might want to check your own rules before we get this party started. You dumbass. You're a dumbass. Such a dumbass. You're an ass. Um. <clears throat> hey, how's it going? So we have a court appearance at 10.30? Yeah. Okay. So we're here. So a judge has ordered that you guys cannot be filming in the building. Okay. There's a written order from the judge. I have a right to film police. So the film, judge's you order. Film me outside. No, I can film you in the course of your duties. Glick versus Kunif. And even that's still subject to limitations. Uh, in other words, time, place, and manner restrictions as long as you're being peaceful and not disorderly, which you will become disorderly at any time now. So, dude, uh, could you stop cherry picking all these? case laws because they're making you look like a complete and total uh, dumbass. First circuit decision. So if you want to arrest me again, no, for, for well then you're going to have to, there's one, one, there's one of two ways it's going to go. You're going to not let me in and, or you're going to let me in. One or the other. Well if you want to go in you have to comply with the rules. And the rules are that I am representing myself and I'm allowed to bring my electronics in there. It says it. There's an exception to people who are representing but attorneys, themselves. Hold on a second. But attorneys can bring their cell phones in, correct? So if we're representing ourselves... I have my documents here. I have my um, first appearance okay, okay, let me, filing let me here. Up, yep. I get it. Listen, look it up and talk to the judge. Dude, your uh, gross misinterpretations of the laws are not exactly going to make it past the judge at the very least, let alone these officers who probably have already read the damn rules, but just need to verify them right quick just to make sure that nothing has changed. But you know what? Nothing has changed, and you're still a lack brain uh, fraudatard. We're not requesting anything. We're doing it. We're doing it. I'm here doing it, and I'm coming in there one way or the other with my phone because I have here all my notes. Yeah, that's not going to happen. <laughs> well, then what are you going to do? You're just going to leave me here in the lobby? No, you can't hang on the lobby. If you, well, I'm here to no. I'm here, here to see the. Training, I'm here to see the judge. Training. I need to see the judge. So if you want to bring me to the front of the judge in handcuffs, that's on you. Or you want to arrest me? I'll be on you. No, that's fine. Of course. So I'm trying to get in there with my electronics. So you're saying you're not going to let me in with my electronics, no. with my documents, and uh, even though I am representing myself. You're violating your own rules, correct? No. There is a rule that has an exception to people, parties who are representing themselves. I'm allowed to bring my stuff in there. And how am I going to represent myself if I don't have all my notes? Hey, Fraudatard, uh... Haven't you ever taken notes before? I mean, all you got to do is write them down on a piece of paper. Oh, wait, I wonder if you have any uh, good handwriting skills. Can you read your own handwriting? Did you even practice your handwriting in school? Oh, wait, you must have been one of those slackers who dropped out in the third grade uh, because you failed to uh, st well, study up on the basics of reading and writing and everything like that. Yeah, that must be it. You're a total slacker. That's what I'm wondering. Can you tell me that, sir? Hey, what's up? We got a 1030 court appearance. Yeah. And what, okay, what you trying to do? So he- Trying to see the judge. Uh, I'm, I have AD, I also need, I try to talk to the clerk, 
trying to get a reasonable accommodation for ADA. I have a right to create my own documents. I have a right to film police in the course of their duties. Click first Kunif. Not in here, you know. Sure. It's no. a public forum, sir. Would you agree that this is a public forum? I don't it says it, it, yeah, you do, actually. It says it's a public forum. Let's go. So let's go what? What does that mean? Past this point. Past what point? point? This right here. Where? I don't see a, you know, in front of you. Come on, step outside. No, sir. I'm not stepping. I have court. I have court at 1030, and I have my first appearance documents here. If you court at 1030, then you're going to... You're going to abide by the rules and regulations that we set, and that's it. No, no, but the rules say if you're so. For instance, no, I don't want to hear none of your rules. They are your rules. They are your rules. They are your rules. They are your rules. Well, dude, uh, I've looked up the rules, uh, and well, apparently you misread them, or you are a total freaking liar. I'm willing to bet that since you're a frauditor, that uh, you are more likely lying. Or you might be going down the road of uh, audit them and just uh, misinterpreting them altogether because you have a learning disorder or something like that. Or it might be a combination of both or something like that. And there's always hope for people like you uh, if this is indeed a learning disorder. I mean, you can seek out professional help and uh, get this uh, corrected if it's able to be corrected. There is an exception. I don't need two people talking at me. Go ahead. I don't need two people talking to me. I get it, I get it. Telling you right now. We both have court. You're, you're filming right now, okay? And why, why are you filming this? That's what I want to know. Because it's our First Amendment it's protected not, activity. Okay, okay, it might be. And it I might be, it is. Now, look. You're on notice, and you just agreed that it that is, might be, so you're going to be a malicious prosecution <laughs> if we go further. You want to arrest me for brother, filming? Just Brother, just, I'm just, telling just, you. You, you want to arrest me for prote protected activity? Go right ahead. Yes, That's what I'm here right. for. Yes, That's right. what I'm here for. You, you, so you, you want to arrest you, me you, again? Arrest me again. Man, you should, Let's go. Uh, you're going to get arrested again. I'm go ahead. Right That's so, fine. All I can tell you right now is no filming. Pass this point. Pass what point? Let's Pass see. the lobby. You can make whatever. Pass the lobby, right? We're allowed to film the lobby. Is that what you're saying? Are you I'm saying we're allowed to film the lobby? I'm just telling you Because right this, this says we're allowed to film in the lobby, right? This, this, this says we're allowed to film the lobby, correct? Dude, in your other videos, you pointed this particular CFR out. And it's also on the wall over there that you pointed out. Uh, it does not give you permission to record in this place. In fact, it's quite the opposite. You're just cherry picking what you want to get what you want to bully everybody else around you. Plain and simple, dude. You're not going to uh, get what you want. In fact, you're going to get arrested again and probably miss another court date. So we're allowed to film the lobby, correct? So then why were we arrested? Hey, stop, stop. <laughs> he made it clear. He made it clear. He made it clear. No, not really. Stop. Stop. All right, all right. Let me just say something. Okay, I'm also defending this thing. I'm actually I got a little. Oh, let me put this on. It changes everything. State rep. Okay. So the problem is this: we want to challenge the inability. We are to challenging. Record. Just follow me. Beyond this, it's a public building, public forum. All right. Okay. So be it. Just let me explain. Let me explain. So we got arrested on 9/11. We're here now to challenge the ticket that we were given a violation by some of your colleagues. So we would like you either to call the clerk and to clarify if the rules don't apply, because it says that if you're representing yourself, attorneys can bring cell phones in. I don't understand why somebody as a member of the bar association has a higher standing than one of the people who gave you the authority to do what you're doing right now. Your power comes from us. All right. Stop. I respect what you're doing. No, seriously, I respect what you're doing. I get it. But the same All your powers come from us. If you have that power, we have that power. I get it. I get it. Just stop. Well, now, there we go. Uh, uh, your power comes from us. you got to do what we say. Yeah, there we go with this uh, slave master mentality that these uh, fraud frauditors have. I mean, they consider anybody in public service a slave. And as such, they want everybody who's a public servant or government worker or police officer or anything under that umbrella to bow down and lick their boots clean. Because you know what? It's a power trip overall. I mean, they accuse the officers of uh, power tripping all day long when, well, it's actually them who are doing the power tripping. So what I'm trying to say is this. 
-hmm. We're trying to assert our rights under the Constitution. Okay. okay. So okay. that's what we're all trying to get. I'm not going to get in a match. I don't care about like the, the theatrics of it all. Mm -hmm. I want this to go up to the Supreme Court and all the rest of the shit. Okay. okay. I want to use the system for the system's purpose. Uh, okay. So that's where we're going. So can you please let the clerk, the judge, God, somebody know that we're here. We don't want to have a bench warrant put out. I got to get to the state house later this flash for a meeting at one o'clock, a hearing. That's so, what we're trying to establish. I don't want to get a scream at Okay, you. if you want to establish that, yes. all I'm telling you is, I'm not telling you you can't go see the clerk. I'm okay. not telling you you can't go see the I'm you telling are. you no family past this point. That's all I'm saying. So can I ask a question, sir? Yes. Why were we arrested here in the lobby last time for filming? Why was I wasn't here? Oh well, that's what we're here for today. Well, well, and you're not arresting us well, now. Well, I'm telling you right. Well, it's, it's pretty funny, isn't it, guys? Dude, uh, don't lie. We all know what you were arrested for. You were arrested for disorderly conduct and not uh obeying uh lawful orders and everything like that. I mean, you can lie to some of the people, but you can't exactly lie to everyone and make it believable. These guys were all there. They're and like, they, they, they know what time it is. And they know y'all. Well, I'm the commander. I'm telling you, right here, past this point, no film. And I'm telling you, there is you an ex. Telling me anything. Oh, I am telling you everything. I'm you telling you because you, you want don't to know. Say. You can okay. say what you want to say. It's going in one ear and coming out this other ear. That's it. So you don't care about your own rules. And that's it. You don't care about your own it's rules. It's going in this one ear and coming out the other ear. Well, at least you're honest with us. Right? At least he's honest with us. I'm just telling you, past this point, you're not going to be filming. And I, okay. Aside from filming, sir, I have my case that I am using all my documents that I have with my notes that I prepared last night for this first appearance is how on. You, how did you prepare? On, on the phone? Yes, sir. You, you, you typed everything on that phone? Yes, sir. I do everything on my phone. Hey, Look, you, people live on those things. You, you type everything on so you phone. want me to have it on, you want me to make it on, pay, I, I'm sorry. So let me get this straight, dude. Uh, you wrote down pages and pages and pages and pages of legal documents on your cell phone for your defense uh, in one night. Uh, yes, yeah, somehow that, I don't find that believable, dude. I mean, given a few days, yeah, perhaps. But for an imbecile like you, uh, yeah, I really, really doubt that you could do that in one night. In addition, I sure as hell would hate to see uh, what the grammar looked like on it if I proofread that thing. I mean, I would probably read it and recommend that you go back to fifth grade to get proper grammar instruction. This question, to make it easy on yourself, would it have been... Knowing that you already know that you can't take a phone in there. You already... No, there's a rule that gives an exception to people who are representing themselves, sir. Well, That's what I'm trying to tell you, and you don't care. It's going in one ear and out the other, right? Exactly. You don't care about your own rules, do you? I'm here trying to get through with my phone to present myself. I'm not going to sit here and argue with you. Oh, you are arguing with me. You are. Yes, you are. Of course you are. You say you're not, but you are. It's going in one ear and out the other, ain't it? What you say. Oh, yes. Yeah. So, sure. I'm um, really. You're hiding the house. But it didn't matter. Bring it down. Bring it down. Bring it down. Bring it down. No, I'll raise it up, bro. All right, stop. Stop. Shit. Let him say what he's going to say. Let him say what he's going to say. What are you going to say? What you got to do? And look, you can say it here all day long and say what you want to say. I'm telling you, you ain't getting past it. I'm calling the clerk. <laughs> Call the clerk. If the clerk want to come down here and talk to you, that's fine. Call him. Well, now they stand around and argue for what, another 45 minutes before, uh, Everybody's had enough of this uh, dude's stupidity, so they go ahead and put him into a pair of shiny new bracelets. So let's roll that beautiful bean footage. Many, many minutes later. Whatever. What is it? Stand up or turn around. Why? Because I'm arresting you. For? Disorderly conduct and failure to comply with... Disorderly conduct and failure to comply with what? The lawful order. What was the lawful order? Uh, there were a whole bunch of them. There was a whole bunch of them? Yeah. Okay. So I'm being arrested for a lawful order. Second time, come on, man. What? <laughs> you arrested me last time. No, I'm not helping you do any of your job, man. Mm -hmm. All right, let me just turn this off real quick. So, real quick, I'm being arrested, right? Yes. Okay, so what am I being arrested for? I just want to get some on the record. Not too tight, right? They're fine. Are they double locked? 
Can you tell me when we rest the board? And so why don't you bring us outside? Because if you bypass security, well, you're gonna so you're gonna bypass security again. You haven't even searched us. Well, we got two for the price of one right here. I mean, this moron of a friend over here decides that he wants to get arrested too. I mean, what is this fetish that you frauditors have with getting arrested? It really gets you nowhere. And I know you're trying to fish for a lawsuit. That may be it right there. I mean, easy money apparently, but rarely does that ever work out for you idiots. So you're going to bypass and breach security again? No, I'm protesting my arrest. You're arresting me on some bullshit. If I'm giving you a headache. No, we do it right here. They're going to, so they're going to cite me, yeah, because I already told you guys, bringing us behind security last time was a breach of your own security. Do me a favor, sit down, please. What's your name? Find out. I don't care. I know. You're going to anger me. No. Hey, Jay, I need to give you my keys, too, in case you got to move my vehicle. Where is my keys? I don't know. Are they in my car? Shit. Oh, they're in that bucket over there. Oh, make sure they get it. Yeah. Okay. 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 What's this, what is this badge? Shiny badge, that's nice one. Thanks. <laughs> and I'm putting you on notice, if you turn my camera off, you are destroying records, and that's a violation as well. Part of me, while I translate this from frauditor to uh, English, yeah, if you uh, turn off my camera and accidentally destroy my uh, footage, I basically lose money, and I'm screwed. I mean, you wouldn't take uh, food out of anybody's mouth, would you? Because that would be what you're doing if you turn off that camera and delete everything I've got on there. I wouldn't be able to eat or even flash my cash like uh, G Silence Boy does. Turn your camera. I'm not Thank you. Me. I appreciate it because you guys do not have body cameras. I'm just weapons, I do not have any weapons, sir. You, you can. Know what? Yep. I, don't, I, don't I know. I don't believe you. <laughs> you don't believe me? I need to check. So once I check. You mean you're not sure? So you think I have a weapon on me? No, you're saying you don't believe. I said I don't have weapons, and you said you don't believe me. That means you think I have a weapon, dummy. No, that's not what that means, dummy. It means they haven't checked you yet for any weapons, and they got to make sure you don't have any, and they just can't take your word for it because you're the sorry SOB who's under arrest. So they can't have you causing any problems with any weapons in the uh, police vehicles now, can they? Just no. no, well, you're saying you think I have a weapon. What are you, so you're confiscating my property? Yes. For what? I didn't film with that. What are you doing? You're not confiscating all my property. Unless, whatever, you want to arrest me, you want to take me to jail, whatever you want to do. Well, when you get arrested, what else are they going to do with your property? Are they just going to leave it sitting there for anybody else to steal? I mean, come on now, dude, you got to think about these things. I mean, the police are going to give it right back to you when you are let back out on the streets. I mean, they're not going to take it from themselves, generally. But I guess you're not exactly known for your brains. I mean, you stood here and argued with uh, officers uh, for well over an hour over, well, rules that you know nothing about. And uh, look what it got you. A shiny new pair of bracelets along with your friend being fitted for a pair. Oh boy, a pair of dumbasses. Oh, will wonders never cease. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. You don't want to go to jail. For what? You read this. Yeah. I don't have to listen to anything. anything. Blah, 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 blah. I'm not listening. Gosh. I'm not. No, I'm just like sexual oriented protection. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. You suck. They think they know it all. What's the Third Amendment, punk? Tell me the Third Amendment and I'll leave. What's the Third Amendment? What's the Third Amendment and I'll fing leave right now? What's the Third Amendment? Tell me. What's the Third Amendment? Most definitely. Because you don't understand why I'm here with a camera doesn't mean I have to get out of here. Doesn't mean I have to leave. Doesn't mean I have to go. That sort of thing.
Well, this is what we're going to do, Lieutenant. Um, we're going to have to enforce the, the CT and have you leave the property. Um, per the postmaster, per the lead, uh, per the um, the uh, the person, the landlord of this uh, facility. Uh, so, with that said, um, I've got too many entities. I know. You gave me a warning to get off the property. I got off the property. I need your name and date of birth. No, sir. You're either going to provide or you're going to jail. I'm going to remain silent, sir. Okay. You want my name and date of birth? Put your hands right now. He chose poorly. Morning, Deputy Regan St. John's County Sheriff's Office. Two reasons I'm stopping you. One, Pine Island speed limit's 25. You're going 36. Okay. That's still 10 miles per hour over the posted speed limit. It's 25. No, it's not 25? So, I was going at 35. Also. So, that's 10 over. You just told me that you're going 10 over the posted speed limit. It, yes, you did. You said you're going 35, right? Yeah, but I said... That's a 25. No, ma'am. It's it. The whole thing's 25. The other issue is your license plate cover is illegal. You can't have a tinted license plate cover over your license plate. How are you? Okay, I'm doing good. Well, you're detained right now. You're not free to leave, okay? Sheriff, Why? I've been calling after you. You know you're not to be on campus. No. You put the phone down. She yes. asked me to leave and I left. No, ma'am. So you, you guys... You are now under arrest. You guys were arresting me for nothing. No. You know you've been arrested for this before. Dumbass! You dumbass! You're a dumbass. Such a dumbass. You're an ass. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that? You know why you're kicking me out? Cause you don't want wa someone watching a movie in the courthouse. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I know some of y'all are disappointed. I'm disappointed. Um, I hope that you will continue to watch this channel because this channel has brought more good than negativity.